Hey, it's Lane with WinRTSource.com, and if you don't download this, you're crazy. This is our weekly series that introduces you to only the best apps for your Surface or other Windows devices. Make sure to subscribe so you can see this video every week. Today I want to introduce you to a few fantastic music apps and services. Of course, if you aren't subscribed to Xbox Music, you really should be. That's the best of all of the services available. Not going to go through that one today because you all know about that. Instead, I want to take a look at three services. First of all, Spotlight. If you're a spot, uh, excuse me, a Spotify subscriber, you are really going to appreciate this application. It gives you access to all of the major services and features that an official Spotify app would. I can't play any of the music due to copyright issues, but I'll show you around the application. First of all, in the left here, you've got your control bar. You can search for artists, songs, playlists, albums, of course, anything that you would normally want to find on Spotify, and it works just as well as you'd expect. The search results show up on the right side shows uh, songs that are most popular first. You can go and look through the different artists, sort by the different albums from that artist, or playlists that are already put together with that particular keyword in them. Next you have radio. This is going to take you through artists that you like. Again, a, a normal Spotify feature and it will play music similar to that specific artist that you're looking at. If you go to playlist, all of the playlists that you have saved in Spotify will show up here and you can go through those and of course play through that uh, through that playlist. Persistently on the right side of the application will be suggestions of music that you might like. I don't know exactly how Spotify has created this service or what the algorithm is, but it seems to be pretty accurate, and you might find a few things that you do like here. Just to show you what this all looks like, you just go ahead and tap on that, and it immediately starts playing the uh, music that it thinks that you'll like. Sometimes you'll get an actual playlist that you can add those songs to one of your existing playlists or create a new playlist. And again, that just goes to show the service, or this application really is complete. It does offer you all of the necessary functionality that you would need in an official Spotlight application. Of course, you can add different tracks to playlists, create new playlists, and you can favorite a track if you'd like to. Got an independent volume control for the application down here. Uh, shuffle mode, repeat all, skip forward and back, and play, and of course a scrubber. And this shows the album art for that uh, particular song that's playing, but there's not a now playing screen or something that's actually going to enlarge that. Still though, I think you'll really find that that application gives you everything that you absolutely need. Next I want to show you Metro Radio. This application is to replace Pandora because there is not an official Pandora application but it does sign you into your Pandora account and will show you all of your uh, radio stations from Pandora. I don't use Pandora a whole lot again because Xbox Music provides a very similar service and, uh, and I really do like the application that Xbox Music has. So you'll be able to sort through all of the uh, different radio stations that you have by scrolling this way or you can actually pinch and zoom out and then it will sort by the letter of that radio station. That's pretty handy. So again, I can't actually play the music for you, but let's say I start a radio station for the Black Keys. If you select it, and you can select multiple stations if you want to, or excuse me, I'm sorry, 
No, it doesn't look like you can select multiple stations to play them simultaneously. But of course, that is something that is built into Pandora. Um, so if you select a station, you can pin that station to your home screen. And it gives you those two different sizes. You can rename the pin in case you don't like the name that it's giving you. You can rename the radio station. Again, a feature that's built into Pandora. This obviously is a little screwed up. Works better if you have a keyboard attached. Let's try that. Yeah, that doesn't work properly. So, sorry about that. Didn't realize there was a glitch there. But that's something maybe we can check with the developer on getting fixed. So you can also add an extra station. If you want to search for a particular artist or a song, you can create a station right from this application. You don't need to go to the Pandora website to do that. Let's go ahead and start playing a station. This is what the UI looks like. It'll show you the next three songs that we'll be playing. You do have a scrubber here. You can like or unlike a song. You can ban the song, which is just going to prevent that song from repeating again. And again, straight from Pandora, it'll tell you why this song is playing. Just help you learn about what type of music you like. So an independent volume control in this application as well. Scrubber, and of course you can skip to the next track. Again, a pretty complete application. We did see one glitch in there. But ultimately, it does provide you most, if not all, of the functionality that you'd really need from a Pandora application. The last one that I want to show you is not a third-party client, but an official application for Songza. If you don't know what Songza is, you should really look into it if you're into music discovery. Similar to Pandora and radio, other music radio services on the internet, it tries to help you find music that you would like. But rather than trying to figure that out based on algorithms and songs that you've chosen and just pure randomness, songs that instead make suggestions to you on music based on the mood that you're in. So right now for me, it's Thursday night. I'm recording this just the night before I upload it for you guys. So maybe these are some things that someone might be doing on a Thursday night. So if you go ahead and uh, choose one of those things, maybe it's right, and this is one of the, these are the things that you happen to be doing. Select that particular um, action, and it will give you some suggestions on types of music that you might like to listen to. I like electronic stuff, so we can try that out. And it'll give you similar playlists here. Again, this is the official application. It's it's beautiful. I love this application. And you can, of course, like a particular song that shows up if you uh, if you want to hear something uh, else more like that. This is not an application that will allow you to go back and listen to a particular track, just like Pandora Radio or a lot of other music streaming services. It's just going to show you, uh, help you discover new music, but the point is not for you to be able to actually keep that on your device without purchasing it. Just to go back to the home screen here. Let's say it's Thursday night, but you're not in the mood for any of these particular types of music. If you select this here, you can choose something completely different. Let's say it's really late on Saturday. It's going to obviously show you different types of music for different things or different activities that things you might be doing. So that's a different way that you can search for different types of music. You can save uh, playlists as favorites so that you can come and listen to that type of music again. So these are the things I've listened to recently and then these are favorites. So this particular playlist I, I really happen to like. So again, a very nice music streaming service. I uh, really recommend this to anyone who's interested in music discovery, finding new things, broadening your horizons with music. And of course, 
didn't show you this before, but if you pull down from the top, you'll be able to jump to uh, these different parts of the application. Okay. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed these applications. I hope that you like this weekly series. If you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. Tell us what you think of the video's quality. What other types of applications do you want to see? Do you want to see more media applications, more productivity applications, more games? Let us know what you think. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so so you can see these videos as they come out every week. Thanks for watching.